we are making these really cute Levi aprons. This is what they look like. I love them because they are heavy duty. You can see that we've used, look at, they're covered in paint. We use them a lot for paint because there's a lot more painting going on around this house than um, cooking. <laughs> Sad but true. Awesome part about these is, I gotta figure out a way to show you. You're gonna see my messy house. Okay, so here's the apron. Really cute, nice and heavy duty, but it's actually from apron, technically upside down, but that is what it is. It's a leg of a pair of pants. So if you have a pair of Levi's that doesn't have any holes, you can make two aprons from it. And you can make mom and me aprons. That one's my daughter's. This one's my son's. You can make them any size, which is super fun. All right, you're going to grab a pair of pants, and whatever size of pants you wear is about the size of the apron it will yield. I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to cut off a leg. The reason why I flip it over is because I don't want to cut through that back pocket. We're actually going to use these pockets and sew them onto our apron, so our apron will have a little pocket. So I just followed the finished edges. If you follow right along that, then you won't even have to finish it. It won't fray. And then you're going to trim off the pant, the little fabric on the back of the pocket. All right, so I look at my apron and I figure out what I want to be the main part of the apron. And so I'm going to pick that fade apart to be the main part. So I'm going to cut up the back side. And then it, as you can tell, this top part is a little bit wonky. So I'm just going to trim it up so it's straight. And then I just kind of spread it out and see what side has the most flare to it, because this is the part that's going to be across your legs, across your lap, and you want a lot of fabric there. So I'm going to take about a third of the way up. I'm going to cut this shape out. This is the part that's going to be on your chest. I'm going to use that as a template so they're even on both sides. And you've got your pieces. I trim this part off just to get rid of the some bulk. It's a little bit easier to sew around, but you can leave that finished edge. All right, so there's your pattern, your apron pieces. Now we're going to make the binding. You're going to grab, so for kids' aprons, it's about nine inches. Adult aprons that are about small, medium, or 12 inches, and then extra large, large are going to be about 15 inches. I'm just measuring it out three inches and tearing three inch strips. Now I'm going to iron the edges to make the binding. I'm going to iron in a half inch on both sides. I'm going to fold that in half, and this is going to make a one inch binding. So if you want a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger, you might need bigger strips or to iron a little bit more. See, it's just going to make a sandwich. That's what you're going to sandwich around the fabric. So the front and back will both be nice. So I do the sewing part of the apron in two stages. The first stage, I'm going to pin the binding down both sides. I'm also going to pin the binding across the top and then across the pocket. These three sections of the apron are actually going to be covered by binding, so you don't need to finish these edges or just snip them off. But the pocket, you're going to want to have an overhang of one or two inches because you're going to fold that under when you sew it to make the edges nice and long. And then you're just going to sew up the sides, the top, and then you'll sew that part on the pocket. Just make sure that those edges are folded underneath the pocket. Okay, so here's where we're at. That was the first stage of sewing. You're going to decide where you want the pocket. You can place it wherever you want. Just pin it into place with a couple pins. And then we're going to add our binding across the bottom. We're going to do the same thing as the pocket and do an overhang of a couple inches. This part can be a little bit tricky. 
So I take my scraps, strips, and I sew them together to make one really long one. If you're making this for a large person, you might want to sew three strips together and make it long. So I'm going to find the middle of it, and that's going to be the part that hits at the very back of the neck when it's around the neck. I'm going to just pin it because if it's not being attached to the apron, I'm going to be sewing that binding together. And then I just kind of eyeball. It's about 18 inches, but it depends on the person. It depends on the size of the head. I usually just pin it a few pins down the apron, and then I try it on and make sure that it goes over my head. You can actually, if you have enough binding, you can make it so it ties around your neck or maybe add a piece of Velcro. You're just going to pin it carefully and then this part's a little bit tricky just going around this curve as you can see i'm straightening out the curve a little bit while i'm pinning i'm just kind of trying to make it as easy as possible keeping it a little bit straight And like I said before, if it's not attached to the apron, I'm just going to be sewing. So this is going to be one long, continuous seam. I'm going to start right here, right where I'm pinning at that first part, and I'm going to go up all the way around. Okay, so this is going to be your second stage of sewing. You're going to sew along the bottom. You're going to sew one big long strip from end, clear up over the neck and to the other end, and then you're going to sew on that pocket, but don't sew that top part so it's not closed. And guess what? You did it. Congratulations. If you have any questions, make sure to check out my post at a girl in a glue gun .com.